Coventry HMO landlords, do your tenants pose a fire risk? It's a very big question. Have you educated your tenants on their responsibilities and what they should be doing in the event of a fire? If you haven't already, do please click on the subscribe button. And in addition to that, do please click on the bell to ensure you're notified of any new content. Now, there are lots of regulations surrounding fire safety in HMOs and what should be doing as a landlord. I mean, I've put together a separate video on this topic, so please do look this one up. But in this particular video, I'm focusing on the importance of educating your tenants and also highlighting how the measures you've put in place can save lives. Now, in 2023, Homemaker Properties had a kitchen fire in one of our HMOs that we manage. Thankfully, everybody got out of the property and escaped, no problems at all. But as a managing agent, as I'm sure you can imagine, it was you know, a horrible phone call to receive that sort of phone call from West Midlands Fire Service. Now, the fire was caused by one tenant who had started cooking, got distracted and left a fire frying pan unattended. Now, first point, please ensure that your tenants know they must never leave pans unattended whilst cooking, not even for a minute. Now, in this particular property, the fire took hold incredibly quickly. The heat detector and the kitchen sounded and the fire alarm system for the whole of the property sounded and all tenants obviously were alerted. Now, please ensure your tenants know they must leave the property immediately when the alarm sounds. Tenants do become quite blasé to the fire and smoke alarm sounding in HMOs. Oh, I just thought it was someone burning some toast. It's a typical response. Also, make sure they know the appropriate course of action, who they should be calling. I mean, if they're renting international tenants, don't assume that they know the emergency number for the UK. Now, the majority of the damage in this fire was confined to the kitchen. The fire door was kept shut, had auto closes in place, and it did its job of containing the fire. This is not only saved lives, but also contained the smoke and fire damage and prevented it from spreading to the rest of the property, obviously enhancing the safety of the tenants. Ensure tenants know why the fire doors are in place and that they should be kept closed when not in use. As a landlord, confiscate anything, propping fire doors open and ensure that they are doing these things and keeping the place safe when you do your checks. Although confined to the kitchen, the property was condemned for a period of time whilst awaiting the property to be deemed gas and electric safe. So on a final point, check your insurance policy. What's included? Make sure in the event of a fire, you have the appropriate cover, not only to refurbish the property, get it back to a habitable state, but also the appropriate rental cover. So should the property be un uninhabitable and the cost of rehousing tenants if required, it means that your loss of rent is also covered as well. Now, hopefully you'll never have to deal with a fire at your property, but be prepared. Ensure your tenants are educated on fire safety and that you have the right landlord insurance on pl in place. Now, we want to help HMO landlords ensure they are compliant, which is why we have put together the free HMO compliance checklist. Absolutely free. So if you click on the link below, it's a free download for you to make sure that you are as compliant as you can be, including fire safety in your HMO.